Hello guys. I am just a little uh, late, like a few minutes. So sorry for that. <clears throat> Today is uh, Saturday as usual. We do our live uh, session on YouTube and we try to discuss things uh, related to trading. So uh, right now I'm just waiting a few minutes until the people come. Hello wise man, uh, thank you for coming. Good evening. You are uh, I think the first. I don't see anyone else than you. <laughs> it's okay. So how is everything? <clears throat> so, as usual, uh, hey Rahmatullah, uh, hello, how are you, sir? Uh, as usual, uh, we try to uh, always speak about trading in jewel. Lazi Lanucci, hello, how are you? Bonsoir, comment allez-vous? Uh, today you show yourself. <laughs> uh, I remember last uh, last week um, you were hidden the whole three hours you were hidden you just uh, listen and watch and you don't say nothing okay so hope today you say something and um, thank you all you guys for coming and for sharing with me what we are doing here So we will be waiting just a few minutes until the other guys uh, come. So as you can see, um, always we see uh, stocks. Some are going up, others are going down. And this is part of the game. Okay. And no one knows which one is going, uh, going up, which one is going down until uh, you buy the stock and you will be in it hello me myself Fendel or Andy hello me myself Andy how are you and um, and welcome the thing is uh, a lot of you guys when you see news um, like uh, news online for these TVs CNBC Bloomberg it gives you some movie uh, some news in some stocks and they neglect other stocks news this is because what they choose okay and understand that there are a lot of stocks that um, analysts they they don't speak about because they are very very small and no one is interested in them in terms of money okay in terms of money what I mean I mean uh, for example if you can see Google or Apple or Facebook or some big uh, Tesla or some big companies that are very known all the people know them so you see that um, the emphasis is on those, okay, on the big stocks, what's happening to these stocks. Hello, uh, Javid Iqbal. Hello, uh, Trump. How are you? And as I said, it means they give you the information that you want. They want to, that you, you hear. Okay? So, that's why the people who are following they know that there are people who are following uh, from uh, it means from their audience they have an idea for example in TV or in websites they know how many people they are interested in this subject or the other subject that's why when they find a lot of people interested in one subject they can uh, give the the news for these people and hope they follow what they ask 
because sometimes when they ask when they say this company is a bad investment you know you understand that a lot of people have shares they might sell okay and it is not sometimes in their interest to sell it is just uh, as they were asked to do so hello uh, Diron uh, MC how are you so as usual uh, when we are looking at the at the market we find that uh, the big indexes with their stocks they are given too much uh, interest okay and they show the news that are very very famous it means the stocks that are very famous they give them too much news okay and uh, especially in, in, in the day where the people are trading, they hear this news, okay? And this news affects the traders because most of the traders, they follow the news, okay? So it's like, a, it's like a, I'm not saying a vicious circle, but it is a circle, okay? Someone gives the news and the, and the, the, tra the traders react to this news and those people who don't see the news, they do whatever they want. They go up or they short or they sell according to what they see. And some other people, they know that there is something, so they act on this, on this thing. But the main thing is when the people finish their trades and then they see if they have made money or lost money. Because any movement in the stock, any stock, any movement up or down, there are some people who lost money because understand that there are uh, there are millions of traders they are just selling short finding opportunities daily and selling short okay and there are some other people who are buying heavily and if they succeed they can make money but if they don't succeed they will lose a lot of money uh, Javid Iqbal said uh, what do you think how current worsening geopolitical global situation will impact stock market in coming weeks uh, no uh, uh, the people they speak about for example middle east but you see the middle east it's for years okay it's for years and the stock market was doing so good here except for uh, uh, in 2016 when we have the uh, pre-exit news when two days like Friday and Monday when the stock was hit so bad but in this correction it has nothing to do with political thing so for example what did happen in the um, beginning of February for me I um, um, I have done uh, this live session and some some of you were there when I spoke about uh, the big crash okay I say I feel that there is something wrong. Now this I, I feel it from uh, from the way the Dow Jones moves, and the, and the and the, uh, the analyst is whenever you you see they speak a lot about good 2018, okay at the beginning in January, and you see that it has nothing to do with politics. It's just people they talk a lot that that there is a good year and now in in february things fall okay things fall just when i do the video the live session and you were with me some people of you guys you were with me and then just monday tuesday we will see that the market is going down into a correction now for me i have no idea that the future will be uh, will be that the st stock market will be falling in that correction no idea but i made just that uh, uh, we made that uh, uh, that session live session just on time just before two days or three days before the market collapse on uh, uh, on uh, tuesday okay and i made uh, the live live uh, the live session on saturday like this and some of you you were there and you were uh, we were asking me about uh, solutions, what we should do in order to uh, to get with it. Okay, and uh, we have another question. 
uh, okay, before Chris de Guzman, thank you for coming. Chris, today you come on time. You are coming just on the uh, beginning. Thank you very much. And uh, me, myself, Andy, there is a question. What is the best charting software to use? Do you look at chart patterns like pennants, triangles, heads, and shoulders? Okay. Um, so let's let me explain to you, uh, me, myself, how I work. I don't work with patterns. Okay. Uh, before we uh, uh, before we uh, we go to that. I will just show you something that me, myself, Andy, is speaking about. He's speaking about patterns. Let's let's see these patterns. He say triangles, head and shoulders, pinions. Okay. So. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's explain this. Now, uh, triangles in the market, or he head and shoulders, or uh, whatever, whatever, uh, uh, whatever, s these things, okay? This is, for example, this is the chart. You see uh, a stock is going up, then it's going down, making like a triangle, okay? And some people, they try to follow this, okay? Uh, let's say, let's say if you take this, the stock was going up, and then it's going down. Let's say the same price. Let's say here twenty dollars, here is twenty dollars, and here let's say forty dollars. Let's say the stock has been going up from twenty to forty, and then it stops and then go down to twenty. So this is it looks like like a triangle, okay? And uh, so the people think that if the stock stops here, it might do the same. Okay, let's, uh, let's make another one to make it sure you understand. This is the way uh, some people th look, look at it. So I'm, I'm just trying to give you an example. Let's say here the stock is 20. Here the stock is 20. The stock is going up like this. And then it's going down like this to have 20. And this is the price that they start. So we say that there is a triangle. And people, what, what is their what is their idea? The idea that this is what we call a pattern. A pattern is how how something specific happened to the stock when you see it. Let's say this is, is called triangle. Just uh, I give you this example, and you can follow with the others, no problem. Triangle. Now, going up, going here down. Now, some traders who are swing traders, they follow these swings and they say, okay, since the stock has stopped here, it might go up the same here and it might go down the same from 20. Let's say, I'm not saying to 40, let's say 40 or 50, it doesn't matter, but they think, and this is where they stop at 40. And then here, okay, they think that the stock will continue like this and then go there like this. So this is just, uh, this is just how they think. Okay, and this is, so we, we make tri triangle here, one, triangle one, triangle two, triangle three. This can happen. It can happen in the market, but there is no sure thing that the stock, if it goes here, why not it goes up a little bit and then, and then it goes down, and now it is two dollars. What do you think about that? Okay, so there is no a sure thing. When you see a pattern, any pattern that they put, okay, so there is, uh, there is, 
there is not a sure thing that the, that this pattern will will be make another pattern. So this is the first pattern, okay, which is triangle pattern, like triangle. So the train the uh, traders think that it will do the same. Sometimes it does, okay. Sometimes it does, even if it doesn't go that much. Let's say it goes from twenty. Uh, let's say to 25 it can go down and it makes another one like this and like this and like this this is the way these are patterns that you see in the market but if i ask you the question how many patterns we have we have hundreds or we have thousands of patterns so you can never know what this what this stock will do what which pattern will do or it will do a variety of another pattern Okay, so for me, I don't follow patterns. Okay, for me, I don't follow such kind of patterns that the people they follow, because these patterns you can uh, you can go to some books, you read about them, but you will never know which stock is which stock. Now let's say we have. Okay. Let's say we have uh, uh, in the market as mutual funds and so mutual funds, mutual funds, okay, plus uh, ETF, exchange traded fund, plus stocks. Now in the market in America we have around twenty four thousand mutual funds, ETFs, and stocks, and each year this number is growing up. So if you bring these patterns, okay, and try to uh, put them on this mutual funds or ETFs or stocks, uh, you will just waste your time, okay, because the patterns, uh, patterns are a lot, and it doesn't mean that the stock, if it goes up, then it goes down. It doesn't mean that it will go up again. So this here is the problem. It might be, but there are probabilities that it, it didn't. Maybe it goes the opposite, it goes down. Okay? So this is what I'm speaking about. Now you ask me, for example, how you... Okay? Now for me, I'm telling you how... For me... If a stock is 20, there is a way to know the, the, the beginning of the trend. I don't care about, about what, whatever pattern is. For me, I have a signal. When I got the signal as $100, let's say it goes to $40, I will be here. When it's going down, I don't care if this 40, it goes to 20. I don't care. I exit the trade here. This is what we call exit point i have explained many times uh, uh, especially uh, this week i have i think made a video about this e exit point so for me i don't go and uh, follow the uh, the stock until it go down with shorting the stock okay even if it goes i don't care so for me what interests me is this now uh, if in the future also it stops here and it's going up again like this okay so here if i find opportunity here and i see that there is a signal i will get to this trend and no one knows where it goes so stocks doesn't do a pattern exactly it can begin with a pattern it goes down and you think it is this triangle but it is not a triangle but it goes up again and continues let's say here it goes to 60. so for me i'm looking for signal this is what i'm looking for and signal i get it from i get the signal from my criteria that i use and in not just any criteria but i have other criteria to see the chart if it is a chart that makes the that makes the signal work but 
let's say you tell me if you bought at 20 with your signal what what if the stock uh, stops and go down i exit with a stop loss okay so anything that that takes money from me because stop loss if it just stops the loss stops the loss let's say let's say you uh, you uh, you lose one hundred dollar in this trade. Just an example, okay? You are not going to wait until you get five hundred or one thousand dollar and then you stop when the stock has been going down so so bad. If you do so, your career as a trader will stop. Believe me, okay? Your career will stop here because you have no no idea about about uh, money management you have no idea so your business will be lost because you don't know you don't know what to do in certain critical situations so let's uh, finish this let's go to our guys what they say okay now um let's go to the other guys and he says, what is the best charting software to use? Now, uh, it's, it's called for me in USA, okay? In USA and Canada, uh, we are using uh, free stock, free stock chart. Most of the people who are with me, who are... Um, uh, who are following me they know it and maybe they have taken the okay freestockcharts.com okay I don't know why the um, uh, why it becomes like a uh, faint I don't know what's the problem with this chart thing a try edit and try again okay it's called uh, just a free stock charts charts.com now I don't put dot com and see if it goes yes free stock charts.com this is uh, the free I use for USA and for Canada, for international students, we use another, uh, another. Um, it's called investing. Investing.com. This is another one, but it is for international students. Investing.com. This is. Uh, these are free website that it is a stock screener for international students. Now, free stock charts works only in Internet Explorer. It doesn't work with uh, Chrome or with uh, Safari or the other uh, browsers. So, uh, me, myself, and Andy, are you uh, are you a USA students? If you are USA students, you just uh, check free stock charts, and uh, let's see. Uh, okay let's see with my website okay so let's uh In uh, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm just trying to uh, find you the the training. It is in my uh, it is in my uh, videos. Any videos that you have, you can um, you can see. Let's see here. If I am sure, weekly, 
let's see the the training is here yes let's see if if this is accepted here I don't know why the um, the chat room is is like making my um, uh, Mike making uh, please uh, uh, guys do you see my my text that I have written after uh, me myself and Andy I don't think you see it because uh, um, it's like hidden or something I don't know what's the problem with it but any video like this video that you watch right now if you go at the end uh, you will find the chart and you will find the free chart training so what is this uh, training do it just if you are interested to use my chart because it is one of the best charts in the world i have used it since i discovered it in i think in in 2010 i have never used another chart we have mutual funds etfs stocks sectors with their uh, with their industries each industry we have uh, stocks that are belong to it is so easy and let's uh, before we um, let's uh, before we uh, we continue I will give you um, um, a way to look at the chart let's see here So let's see. So <clears throat> So this is the chart. Okay. Hope it it comes the chart. It is still, I'm still looking at the, okay. Let's see here. yes you look here for example this is the chart just to give you an idea now so as you can see the chart you have the name let, let's say the name of the stock which is twitter twtr we have the name of the company twitter.com uh, twitter inc you have internet which is the sector and the industry that belongs to is called internet information providers so you have all the information here you have the whole chart it's clean uh, you can put lines vertical lines like this you can put lines like this here you could put vertical lines you can put trend lines uh, you, you can do whatever you want there are other things that i don't use but most of the time i don't use all of these okay and this is very good when you are trading let's say an example okay let's say uh, you bought the stock here just an example okay now this I put it with yellow uh, with the green it means it is the price that I bought my stock for example you go to your broker you buy the stock let's say $22.35 and you put a green line here with the price you say okay now let's say uh, you bought this let's say you bought it here so you put a vertical line here just an example here or here or whatever here for example now when you put the line in the future if the stock is moving up or down you will see that you are making money let's say you bought it at 25 now it's 28 you are making money okay so without going to your broker you will know now you can put let's say stop uh, stop loss with red you put the price in your broker 
then you come here and you put the price and you put the red okay so these lines helps you uh, tra trade without going uh, to your broker now if you are doing day trade you can change this to uh, let's say five minutes so this is day trading if you want to day trade you don't need even you don't need even um, a level two or for day trading you just can trade with this because it's clean uh, the price is shown it's very good and then we have three things here on the left side we have three things here you put uh, you search you f you search for for example uh, ETFs you search for stocks mutual funds indexes this is the first part here second part is you put portfolios you you make portfolio for mini stocks and here whatever whatever stock you have you have the news whenever you put a stock like uh, Twitter you will find the news here by date and who for example you find here this is the news okay so news or uh, when the company is uh, sending a uh, filing or whatever if you want to so everything is you have it here you don't need to go anywhere else this is why i like this chart and it is free the the bad thing is, is that it is not international it is just for usa canada okay so you can see the indexes, you can see uh, uh, the ETFs, even in Canada, indexes, market uh, thing. You can see whatever you want to see. Even even Forex, we have uh, uh, we have the chart of Forex. Maybe you are doing uh, Forex, and it's it's very funny, okay? So you see Forex and its uh, stocks. Let's go back to our guys and see what they are saying. So, uh, here is a question from uh, me, myself, and Andy. He said, when you execute a trade, you always know where you are going to exit now this question i will tell you i will tell you me myself how it works for me okay at least uh, at least you have uh, you have an idea okay so let's go to the explanation okay i bought the stock at 20 or 30 or 40 or one dollar or whatever it's okay this is the green candlestick i buy the stock from just an example this is the line that i told you about this is the uh, just the buy line where i bought the stock because in the chart if i click this line it will give you it give me 20 dollars now when i just bought the stock i put a stop loss let's say the stop loss is 19.50 cent just an example okay it's not true that i bought any stock or $20 I put 1950 it's not true so just an example this is the stop loss now what is the thing that I am sure of is it is it where I exit the trade when I exit the trade we have two two things it's not only one if the stock is a failure it, go, it goes up a little bit, goes down, and it hit my stop loss. This is an exit with a stop loss. So an exit with a stop loss is known for me. Yes, I know it is known because I put it myself. Now, if I don't put stop loss, I don't know. Now, let's say the stock is going up. Now, my exit here with a profit exit point with profit okay you ask do i know it no how do i know it's in the future so you have two when you begin trade we have two exits we have one and we have two the first one is known 
because I most of the stocks they go they go and they hit stop loss if they don't go up they go down okay but because I know it I put it I know it I put 1950 stock is going to 950 it becomes a market order a market order and exit the trade I know but if the stock is going up I have no idea about the future. The future, no one knows. If you want to exit by yourself, yes. You, you can know. For example, you say, as someone told me, oh, uh, if the stock goes to, let's say, to 25, I sell. So he put, he put an exit plan, an exit point here, exit point, EP. He put an exit point by himself, by me. But for me, I don't do that. I don't stop a stock going up. I will never stop it. I stop it when I see that, the, that this stock stops going up anymore. That's why when it's going down, I will, I will exit. This, I have techniques to know if the stock is going, continue to go up or no. So I hope, uh, hope this explanation is understood. Uh, Javid Iqbal said uh, TC2000 does the free version give real time data on stocks? Yes uh, most of the stocks it gives them real data but if there is a problem and th there is a delay they will show it to you so um, if you are using for example uh, swing trading you just buy and you leave it's, it's better than uh, uh, to use it as day trading. You can use it as day trading, but you should always have your broker open and check. Maybe the stop prices, uh, the stock uh, uh, stops or something like that. Okay, this is if you are, uh, if you are doing day trading. You said, I think it is delayed unless you subscribe various levels of membership. No, no, no. I have used it uh, uh, to trade and I put a video online uh, and I use the I use the chart I don't use I don't use anything else there are some stocks that they show you there is no information and it stops there is a delay yes but most of the um, but most of the uh, of the stocks uh, it's okay it shows you how it works. It's, it's a streaming. That's why you have a plug-in. Plug in. When, when you want to download the chart, it asks you to download this plug-in. It gives you the price. But understand that this chart is not really for day traders. If you are doing to day traders, you should find a better chart that gives you the exact uh, pricing. It gives you the vo It gives you... Uh, the, uh, uh, the bids and the ask okay so if you are going to uh, to day trade you should you should need more I guess uh, for uh, levels of membership uh, believe me I have never uh, tried any membership because I don't need it I don't do day trading I don't need it that's why I I almost I don't I don't use it for me if I want to buy I see the chart and then I go to the broker and see the price and I, I just buy because for us it's not important uh, to check for one, se one, one cent or two cents or five cents it's not that important because we are buying at the end of the day it could be any price that it is at the end of the day if the signal is there if there is a signal it means the stock is still strong we buy um, Trump said, how about longing the squeeze? What do you mean by longing the squeeze? Please, can you explain? Are you speaking about uh, short selling or what? So, um, as I told you, this chart uh, helps me a lot. All these years I'm trading, I'm using the same chart. And when I, whenever I want to buy, I just go to the broker. I buy the stock. 
and I go to my chart, I put the price in the chart and I put the stop loss, the price from the from the broker also and then I am all set okay so it, 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 it works uh, it works uh, uh, like this okay so it works like this twenty dollars is the stock let's say twenty dollars twenty seven you just bought the stock now in the chart you put a line like this this is the buy line let's say uh, then you put another line here which is the stop loss let's say it is 1985 just an example okay and then I can put a, a vertical line here like this this vertical line is the day where I bought the day let's say uh, today uh, let's say today is 14 let's say yesterday Friday is 13 13 and April 2018 okay now this line here Whenever you see it, you know that you bought in this line, in this day. When you click this line, it gives you the date. Now, let's say the stock is going like this. Okay? So, you will understand that the stock has not gone to your stop loss. It means you are making money. And whenever, let's say here, it is $27. So... Whenever you click on this green, you will see that you bought it at $20.27. Now it is $27, so you are making $700 for each, each 100 shares you bought, or $727, minus the uh, commission. Okay, so it's very simple without going to your broker. Now broker, you don't go because, because you will see all the information here. If you want just to see it, to open your broker, see uh, the money, if it is the same, it's okay. So this is, this is how it works for me, and this is how I use the chart. Hey, uh, Trump, you did not, uh, you did not uh, put the explanation how about longing the squeeze put some information uh, at least i will answer you uh here is another question from crew chris the guzman how are you uh, chris long time i haven't seen you uh, have you updated the golden subscription yes yes i have updated it and i have added for the day traders because I have a, uh, I, I got a lot of requests asking to add uh, without without buying uh, uh, training level 11 or 12 because they are uh, my my golden subscribers so I, uh, I I see the request and I will I will add uh, training level 11 sh short selling. Uh, training 12 which is day trading and 13 how to buy from support line okay so I will add them uh, I will add them next week okay for all the guys who are subscribers you will get this for free and uh, yes okay uh, Trump said um buying at short squeeze uh thank you uh Deron, mc and how are you please if you have questions just ask i'm trying to uh, whatever person ask question i will answer so i will begin with a trump uh short squeeze and i will uh, i will just uh, try to give him information 
about sh a short squeeze and what is it and how uh, how can you ca you can make money from it okay so let's go and explain this okay let's uh, see what is the short squeeze we try to understand what's this idea okay now short squeeze what is it it means we have a lot of shorting going down okay a lot of people shorting down let's say today let's say the stock uh okay let's uh, let's let's put it again here okay so let's for example stock here is twenty dollars the stock was going down and some people try today today for example here they try to squeeze it it goes down let's say it goes down to 18 dollars this is the end of the day but the problem is that they short it and they hold for the night hold for the night they don't sell it means they don't buy back they just continue to uh, until 4 p.m some people they do like this they short but they don't exit because sometimes they are not day traders they are like swing traders okay now this is the day let's say it is um 13 april now what it happened in 14 the day which is another day let's say after the market closed there are good news and the stock now is at 25 dollars so those here those short sellers okay are at what we call sh uh, what we call short squeeze they have been squeezed because the market has begun with 25 so from 28 it goes to 25 so the people instead of making 200 dollars yesterday they have been in, in 100 shares they have been losing so two and five they have been losing 700 dollars okay and they are squeezed they should buy very quick but there are a lot of people who see that there is uh, a gap up <laughs> they begin to buy more and this 25 it can go to 28 or 30 or 40 so these people who short here on the first day they are making money they lost it all and they are in bad situation so they are squeezed okay so this is uh, uh, this is one way okay this is two day thing so this is what we call short squeeze people or short sellers who have been making money in the next day they have been losing money because they are obliged to buy the shares at 25 if it can go to 28 here they should buy back the shares to give to the broker buy back or what we call to cover back this is the words we use for short sellers when they want to buy back the shares to give to the broker so they are squeezed it means uh, they have no choice and their loss is in the price 25 so they lose 700 dollars if if they don't be quick the stock can go to 26 7 28 29 30 34 35 it can go where it can go and the more it go up the more they lose money okay so hope uh trump you have an idea hope trump you have an idea about this uh, short squeeze uh 
جافيد اقبال What is your training level for trading gaps? Uh, like uh, gap up or gap down or break away gaps. Now uh, gaps, you take, uh, uh, for example, training level level two, how to search for stocks using stock screener. It is, uh, it is speaking about this thing, but. Uh, 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 when the, when we have a gap down, you will never know if the stock will go up or which it will go down. So don't don't. Uh, there is no uh, a special strategy for this. Okay, there is no special special strategy for this, and uh, because the the success of these things is is uh, little. So don't. don't try to um, uh, to use it or to buy just because uh, there is a gap down you buy because you think the stock will will go up this is not true okay so don't make rules this is the problem if you if you make a rule and you apply it it can help you one time but many times you will lose a lot of money because sometimes when we have a gap down, Sometimes the stock has real problems and it continues going down. If I find, uh, if I find uh, uh, in the chart, okay, if I find uh, some uh, some uh, charts, I will I will show you. I will show you this. Let's see um, if I can find you. If I find you some stocks, oh no, no. Let's say here. So I will, uh, I will just show you. Okay. Let's, uh, let's. Uh, Let's uh, Javid Iqbal. Let's show you some some chart. Now you can see here that there is a gap down. Now you think that, for example, if there is a gap down, I should buy or I should sell short. Okay, this is not true because it depends on where the stock goes. It's here, the stock is fifty-one cent. Now it is 35. If you put all your money here, 51, now it's 35. You have lost, uh, you have lost around 30% uh, of your money. Okay. Now, um, let's, uh, let's find some, okay. Now let's find this, for example, there is a gap up here and the next day you think that the gap up you buy and then the next days uh, it goes down and you lose a lot of money so for example here there is a gap up or there is this is like a manipulation these are the stocks that i talk always about which are what we call the pump and dump scheme okay you see this you see the stock is going good and you think that you will be making money but from three dollars it goes to uh, one dollar so you lose 66 percent of your money and then or the people who buy from here they think that the stock will go up the stock will, is going down this is just don't make rules okay this is my uh, my uh, my suggestion to you is uh, don't make rules okay because a lot of people, how do they lose a lot of money? Is that they use their own rules and they begin to continue using the same technique. And this is why a lot of beginners, they lose a lot of money because they use a technique that it is false. And they continue with it one month, two months, six months, one year until they lose all their money. Okay? So 
they should know what are the probabilities that their trade will be a good stock not just uh, go ahead and buy any stock with with a, a pattern okay like this uh, as uh, trump said okay so trump said do you recognize any pattern that repeated in the market no all the mark all the patterns are repeated the problem is that each few stock have a pattern and this pattern change so in the same stock you can't you you can't do the same but if you for example if you use my 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 techniques this technique will give you the stocks without needing to have patterns you will not see patterns you don't need them okay this is this is the ideal thing but patterns like i showed you before if you have been here on the uh, uh, from the beginning i showed you the triangle the triangle pattern do you think that all the stocks 20 24 000 stocks in the stock market they do this triangle no they don't do they are few they do this but few how can you find how can you find this uh, few stocks uh, inside the 24,000 stocks in USA here how if you have just few uh, few stocks yes but uh, there are a lot of stocks so you can't okay so for me yes I recognize a lot of a lot of things but I don't use them for myself I don't use them I don't say because the stock has go down it will go up and I buy no I would not do that I should see other criteria that tells me if the stock can move uh, up or down in the future and this this is the t training okay this training with the techniques and with with the other stuff okay so it's just uh, it's just techniques that you should use and it is uh, specific te techniques for all the stocks whatever stock you can apply this technique and it you will succeed you don't need to use patterns to use uh, indicators to use other stuff that gives you information this will mislead you okay because if you if you begin to to read these patterns in books you can you can take books you can read thousands of books that speak about patterns but you will never make it okay sometimes in uh, uh, in a bull market there are few patterns that that will be good but for me i get these patterns i get these patterns without the patterns themselves i don't see the stock uh, the charts if it has a pattern i buy it or no this is kind of hallucinations okay this is just hallucinations people they see things that the, that the other people don't see you see they begin um, predicting things and uh, for me I don't use prediction I don't tell you if I buy stock you say what do you think I say yes it is good stock for me and I think it's go it, it will be going up but there is no certainty I will tell you that it may go up may go down because I don't control the market what it does and this is if you understand this there are a lot of confusion that it is getting out of your mind so trump said uh do you do you recommend shorting 52 week high 52 week low i don't recommend anything for me in my uh, how to sell or sh uh, short a stock it doesn't it doesn't take this criteria as serious not any any stock that it's going down you can short it and for me uh, I am always using shorting in the day day trading I don't short for the long run some people do but I don't because if there is any good news or anything that happened especially in some companies that like the news a lot like for example the drug news drug companies news it's it's devastating sometimes you find a stock 
that it is thirty dollars, it can go to two dollars after after the government uh, or what we call the FDA refuses their vaccine or their medicine or the technique. They refuse it, so the stock will collapse. That's why it is it is a lot of risk, a lot of risk when you short. So it's better to short to do day trading. You find stocks in the morning, you have uh, your techniques, you have uh, to, to use uh, a lot of techniques like volume, like uh, searching for stocks that are going down in the morning. You put them in the chart and then you find one and then you set a chart. If you succeed, you can make a lot of money if the, if the stock goes down so good. So this is, this is selling short. It means uh, most of the time uh, we do it in day trading, it's better than swing trading. Swing trading, you can make a lot of money, but one time, if you do, um, uh, if there is a mistake or there is a problem in the company, or there are good news, you will be in what we call um, uh, short squeeze. Okay, as you as you as you mentioned it. Okay, you will be in that. Uh, you say, uh, Trump say, do you recommend trading penny stocks and which price range? Now, for me, I trade all the stocks. And I just make videos. Uh, Trump, maybe, I don't know, maybe you are not uh, following my videos on YouTube. I made uh, a penny stock, uh, a penny stock video, videos, or just uh, this week, last week about uh, what kind of uh, uh, penny stocks we choose and you will find the video and you can watch it so i uh, just uh, this week okay you can watch now price range if you are w looking for fasted stocks they should be under 25 dollars okay but if you have money you can do 30 or 35 40. it doesn't mean it it means whatever you have Smaller stocks, they go better, they go faster than the uh, bigger stocks. So for me, uh, whenever stock I find good, I buy it. Either it is penny stock or it is big or it is small, it doesn't matter. The, the thing is, if I see an opportunity that this stock can go and can make me money. So this is for uh, uh, Trump. Try to see my videos uh, in my YouTube channel. I just last week I have done a video about that. You can watch it, and you can send me a question about it if you don't understand something. Okay. So uh, the the thing is. Okay, I see another question. Me myself, uh, Andy. I have always heard penny stocks are dangerous and you can lose a lot of money trading them. Is this true? Yes. Now, yes, why is that? Penny stocks or, uh, or bigger stocks, even if it is uh, 5, 7, 8, 10, 15, all the stocks, you can, you can lose a lot of money if you, don't, if you don't know how to trade and this is the problem. Why? Because they go fast either up or down this is what makes them dangerous so if you you are trading and you are beginner you don't know how to trade them just uh, trade the uh, little or few shares always don't make big positions okay until you until you, you get a training until you discover how to trade them and then you can uh, raise the the amount of money you put in them okay so um so it is true it is true and most of the people they lose their money at the beginning because they go to penny stocks because they are obliged this is the thing it's not because you you go to penny stocks you have a uh, half a million dollar and you go to penny stocks no no way people who have little money they are obliged to go to penny stocks 
they say they are small and you can buy 1000 shares or 500 shares or 2000 shares because you have uh, $3,000 or $5,000 in your uh, account okay so you um, you uh, you go and you buy them but if you don't know how to trade them that is the problem that is where the people lose a lot of money especially people they don't use a stop loss they don't know how to manage their account they know nothing they just buy and wait and sometimes they wait too much that's why they have big trouble that's why i say always you should at least at least uh, get the training study well try to do virtual account begin to to trade those stocks follow them and then you will have the big picture and you begin to understand how do they move and in the future you can make money when you understand uh, the techniques because there are techniques that you should use in order to trade them um trump said you have been talking about energy industry will it go up if trump destroys russia and syria <laughs> Oh, so uh, a Trump will not will not destroy Russia. Yes, Syria, because all the people that are all the people are bombarding this country. You know, Russia. Why, why Russia is 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 killing these people there, and United States of of America is killing the people there for what? Okay, so this is politics. Now this it has nothing to do with energy energy most of the time they say energy they push uh, the production of uh, oil too much to destroy some countries that export oil and gas like russia like iran like venezuela like uh, uh, gulf countries like north uh, north africa countries uh, South America countries, okay, this is what they do. They make a lot of oil production and the prices collapse. Why Why in the market, the other sectors, they don't collapse? Why it's only energy? So you will understand there are some politics and you know, Wall Street, they are friends with politics. You know, they're friends, they work together. So whatever they want to do, they do, okay? So this is this is a part of the money. This is a game of politics. So if you, so a tr a Trump will not dis destroy Russia because it has nuclear weapons, and China is with it, with it, and North Korea is with it, and uh, uh, it's a very very power thing. It should be third world war, and this is out of question because everything will be destroyed don't think that because you are living in america that things doesn't come to you okay there are some countries like russia like china they have uh they have rockets they can reach america and it is very destructive that's why america doesn't want to do a third world with other the countries okay so um so the energy industry, it has been going up for a long time. I will show you. I will show you uh, Trump because maybe... Hey, Wendy Casa, how are you? Um, B. Nguyen, options trading is better than stock trading. Okay, I will, I will come to you. Let's see the energy sector for, uh, for a minute and then we come back. Because he's talking about energy sector let's go to energy sector okay see this is the energy sector now energy sector it has been going up since since uh, may 2016 see the price here is 1000 now is 1500 so the market in energy was going up okay and you can see this uh, i'm telling you in the price uh, uh let's see here i i follow the price too much uh, about the uh, what we call the um, the gas i don't know your region 
but uh, the gas uh, the gas was $1.85 for one gallon before I don't know this is uh, maybe two years or, or, or three years and now it is two let's say 250 so this price going up it means the market has been going up that's why that's why if you go to the chart okay if you go to the chart you see this you see that there is a trend see there is a trend there is a trend here see there is a trend it was doing so good now we have another one gas and pipelines we have gas oil and gas equipment and services independent oil and gas oil gas and drilling exploration okay let's say here it was 655 now it's 900 so most of the time there is something now major integrated oil and gas you can see that here it was 688 now it's 891 so there is a move okay there is a move because you know uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying just to explain to you these things these things in general it is not just economic but it is political understand that uh, some countries the main source for them is oil and gas like russia like uh, iran like venezuela like uh, or like gulf countries like north african countries okay they have a lot of gas and oil and they sell it but if there is a lot of supply a lot of production the price will collapse and when the price collapse all these countries will be hurt so this i don't know if it has a direct uh, Im uh, direct impact on uh, on stock market but you see the news the i, I will just uh, show you by years at least we, we stop this uh, talking about uh, uh, we stop talking about energy sector let's say we put years and we see okay let's say we delete this thing okay so to understand this is for example let's say we begin with the first one yes it's uh, it's nearly the same the same thing okay okay as you can see in 2016 it was so bad but it has been going up the whole year it means it's a recovery year it's a reverse of price so 2016 17 and now 18 it looks good but before like 2014 and 15 this is what we see that our gas and oil become uh, very very cheap it's very good for us here in the USA where where you bought the gas uh, yes when you bought the ga gas for our cars which is so good but uh, as you can see this one 2008 it's all the collapse of all the sectors and industries this has nothing to do with those okay this is the whole market 2008 as you as you might know but this uh, one here 2011 uh, 2014 and 15 it was not related to the whole market it is just the specific market of uh, oil and gas this is just to show you that we are going good and uh, people who have seen this going up they have investors they have bought way 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 many years ago okay so this is just to have an idea now me myself andy said too many pump and dump schemes with penny stocks yes 
there are a lot of uh, uh, pamper dam schemes. Why is that? Because the volume is very low and the price is very cheap. Some people, they can play and manipulate these uh, stocks. And you can't prevent that. If you, for example, a stock is uh, 50 cent and it is trading as uh, 500 shares a day, you, you can manipulate it. You can buy 10,000 or 20,000 shares and you see a spike of uh, a, a green spike going up. Okay, so it's, uh, it's, it's the market and it's a free market. That's why there is no stop when there is like this, this manipulation. There is no stop because everyone is free. But the result is that some people are making money, some other people are losing money. That's it. And this is the market from the beginning. You can't change that. When the, when, the, when the market is going down, there are some people who make money, there are some people who lose money. That's, that's the market. Uh, Bin and Gunian say options trading is better than stocks trading. Uh, no, you, uh, see, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. I have explained this last, uh, last uh, Saturday that... Uh, I will give you just an example to understand because uh, options options you should be more advanced students than stocks because you are playing with the whole money at risk and these people they don't understand this until until they lose everything they will understand so being in Guyan options are more difficult and more risky than stocks I will show you why is this, okay? Um, let's let's go and explain uh, the thing. Okay, let's say the stock is twenty dollars, and you you if you want to buy one hundred shares, you buy two thousand dollars. You buy a stock. Now this in stocks. Now here, you can, for example, twenty dollars. You can specify the risk. Let's say you put the risk two percent. Okay, two percent. Here, from twenty dollars, you lose two percent. Now, here is options. If you buy one contract is a little money. Let's say you buy one contract and this contract is $200. It means the, the price is $2. $2 for this. Now here an option. What is your risk? Your risk, in general, it is 100%. You are risking all your money, this $200, you are risking 100%. You are not risking only 2%. Let's say uh, this year, if you give an example, let's say in the stock you have a gap down and the stock is $15. Now here, this $200, maybe you will find, let's say $10 in your account. But this guy, even if he, if he lost uh, $500, for example, okay, and this is, you, you, say, you say, because he has put $2,000, but you, all your money will be gone, and when you begin trading, $200 doesn't give you that much, even if it goes up, if it goes up, let's say 50%, let's, now, if here, the stock goes 50%. You are making $1,000. Okay? This is if you, if you make money. But, but here, 50%, your money will become only $300, and it is only $100. You see that? So in terms of money, options, you should be right. 
with big money in order to make money. But if you have a big money and you lose, it will be a catastrophe for you. And believe me, uh, beginners, beginners who, who begin with the options, they will lose it all because they will have no money at the end of the year. Because you always, when you put your money, it's 100% risk. And that's why options should be for advanced students. When you, you understand the stocks, the risk, you trade it, you make money, and then you want to, to risk more of your money, you can go to options or to Forex or to futures. You can go there when you, when you master the stocks first. Here, you master this and then you go to advanced. Now you, you are beginner, you go to advanced level and you lose it all. That is, that is what we call options. And those people who tells you there is a, there is a strategy, uh, you buy uh, two calls, uh, one puts, uh, and they give them names. Believe me, those are brokers. And what they do, they ask you to try all the strategies that are failures because, because they, don't, they can't make mo their money from, uh, from options. And it is very difficult. You know, you understand this is the game of Wall Street. Brokers ask you to learn the strategies that they don't use. And the, the dead end is that you lose money and you make a lot of commissions and a lot of fees. That's, that's the, dead, the, the dead end for options. Now, uh, Wendy Casa, you come late, no problem. We are, still, we are still talking. If you have questions, just ask. Uh, Mark Way, how are you? Um, Mike Way is asking a question. What do you think blockchain technology in the future? Thanks. So a blockchain, it means you are uh, thinking about uh, cryptocurrencies and these currencies. Understand that a lot of countries, they begin to make regulations. Some countries, they forbid. Do you understand that a country that people have bought millions and millions of dollars of this internet coins, like Bitcoin, like Litecoin, and Ethereum, and the other stuff. What if your country that you are living in, either USA or Canada or England or whatever country you are in, whatever they forbid this trade. Do you know what, what happens to you? Your money is lost. Because these are websites. Now you see a website, okay? You put all your money there, and then one day you don't find this website. Because it's, the government says it's forbidden. They took all, all your money, and they disappear. Because it is forbidden. When it is forbidden, it means you should not have these coins in your wallet. Understand that. And now, uh, the, the Bitcoin was $19,000. I can show you, uh, Mike Way, I can show you what's going on right now. Uh, let's go to, um, let's go, I will explain just this for you guys. Who, who wants to see this three major uh, thing? Let's, uh, let's go and see it. Uh, I understand, guys, that uh, some of you, you, you have heard about Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum, these three uh, internet uh, stocks, uh, internet uh, currencies. So let's, let's go. Uh, if you want to go, this is called GDAX. It's a website.com. GDAX.com. You can go to it and you find a view exchange, click that. And then uh, you will see these currencies. Okay. So for example, the Bitcoin. <clears throat> uh, 
let's say here Bitcoin Cash Ethereum Okay, so the price is $8,105. It has been doing good these few days, as you can see, one, two, three, four. Before it was only 6,700, okay? As low, 6,518. Now it's going up a little bit. No one knows where it goes, but you know, here it was 11,000 just uh, in uh, 4 of March in one month from 11,000 uh, it goes to uh, 6,000 so you see how much is the loss and before it was like uh, uh, 19,000 so we have what we call Bitcoin we have Ethereum Ethereum now is uh, 513 it was 1300 uh, two or three months ago 1300 now it is only 513 and there is the smallest one which is litecoin it is 127 dollars and this it has reached i think uh, 270 or 280 now it's it's only 127 and you see it doesn't do that much good Okay, it doesn't do that much good. Here it's uh, 114, 100, uh, 110. Okay, but uh, when it moves, if it moves very good, it, it can move very good. So this website, you can, uh, you can get it and you can just uh, go and, uh, and just uh, see where the uh, coins are. But for me, you know, uh, to tell you the truth about uh, this thing, it is so dangerous. If you want to, to invest some money just to play, okay, you can do that. But understand that you can be wiped out. Some people, they put a lot of money and from 19,000 now it is... Uh, eight eight thousand you know they lose they lose it all in stocks in stocks you will never lose that much as as this kind of new thing the reason for that is that um these cryptocurrencies many countries are against because they see people uh they have money they are from whatever whatever uh, organiza criminal organization or something and they buy this uh, they buy this uh, bitcoin and so and they will sell sell them okay and they will sell them in order to get uh, their money and maybe to buy something else so that's why the government are against this these things a lot of countries have, have put have put a ban on this thing it means if those people in that country are buying they lose it all they can't they can't uh, they can't uh, keep them because if they keep them the government will take uh, take their money so understand that this these issues we don't understand how this work how this is began and uh, if you um if you are investing in something that you don't know if i tell you who makes move this uh, this uh, cryptocurrencies who you will never know okay you will never know it's a hidden thing in the whole world no one knows but it is like a bubble a bubble it means something goes very 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 high and then it goes uh, very very down without any reason without any applicable reasons okay so be careful when you are uh, doing such thing as investing in what we call uh, uh, in what we call uh, currency pairs. Uh, Wondi Castle said, "On Wednesday, I bought 
CPST based on signal and I, and I stopped out with profit. Did it make a mistake? Now, uh, see, Juan de Casa, uh, please can you uh, send me your trade? Because you should give you should give me all the information as as all my students. Give me your information, and I will review as usual. I will review your um, uh, your trade, and I will give you recommendations if it is good or bad, and I will give you what to do in the future. Okay. So Juan de Casa, please uh, send me the information to my email as you know it, and we will speak about this uh, in the email. Now. Um, and it's very good since you are making uh, profits that's very good even if you don't make a profit and you get stopped out by stop loss this is okay because when you buy stocks there are probabilities that you should take care of okay probabilities so anyone who tells you that he makes uh, all his trades are good this is a fake thing and don't believe that because whatever you do the market can you think that the market tomorrow will be bad but it will be good okay uh jason lee said hello where should i start from your training okay just just go to my uh, to my website which which is called you find my website in the uh, in the description please see the description Okay, see the description of uh, see the description. Okay, and if you are interested in the golden subscription, you just click that and you and you uh, you will find a free a training. But if you go to golden subscription, you will find uh, this is golden subscription, golden subscription, okay? And you will find 10 training for free, 10 training for free. Okay? Just uh, check uh, check my website in the uh, in the description of the vi of this video. Uh, if you find it, let me know. If not, let me um, let me see. It's in the description. Everything is in the description, always as always. Uh, this is the description, uh, the golden subscription, okay? So try, uh, try it and let me know. Now, um, Jason Lee, and you can, uh, you can see my email also, okay? You can check my email and you can send me uh, directly an email. Let me see here. Open. Okay. So I'm just uh, trying to give you uh, my email. So here is my email, okay? And here is the, disc the, the subscription. You just click on it and you'll get there. Now, let's see other questions. Uh, 
So Jason Lee, uh, try to click on that thing. You will find the subscription. And there is my email. If you need anything, just uh, send me uh, send me an email, and I will be happy to help you. Uh, okay. Now. Uh, Diego Levisky said, uh, how are you, uh, Diego Levisky? Uh, do you think the market is on range bound or downtrend? Okay, for this, uh, for this, I will try to show you how I see, how I see the market in general. Okay, so let's go to the charts and I will show you. Okay, so this is the chart, let's say daily. Um, let's take the Dow Jones. Dow Jones, which is the biggest index in USA. Now, see here. The highest that the Dow Jones get is here. 26,616. This in 26 January 2018. 18 and now there is a, a correction the star the index has been going down till this day which is the 9th of february now it makes what we call a support line a support line what does it mean it means the stock uh, it means this index doesn't go down more then it goes up then it goes down then it goes up then it goes down it touches the 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 support line here on the on the 2nd of april and then it goes up now this is called trending into a range this range is from the blue line which is called the resistance line to the support line now we don't know until this price go crosses here down or crosses up here so this is called trending into a range so it is not a downtrend a downtrend when it, it touches this line and go down it becomes a downtrend it means it continues to go down and down and down and the Dow Jones will lose a lot of money from its stocks because Dow Jones we have 30 big stocks in America now when they put these lines is here for example uh, uh, this here here this part here is February this is March and we are in April here we are in April now we are in April 13 it means yesterday which is a uh, which is Friday so we are what we call trending into a range if if this index the stocks go and crosses this resistance line up here the market will be going up for maybe it can go the rest of the year but if the stock these stocks here go below this the year will be a bear or bearish year or there is a downtrend okay or what we call a crash you see here this, this you see this it was doing so good all these two years from uh, let's say from 2016 2017 here in April, it means last year, the whole last year until now, it was so good. You see all the stocks in the Dow Jones, mostly they go up. But in February, the problem begins. So we are waiting and looking for this, for this thing to change. So hope, uh, uh, hope uh, Diego, you get my opinion on the market. Uh, big bots getting it. Did I just blow up my account by shorting oil? Oh, we are sorry, man. So, uh, what did you do? Uh, big boys getting it. So you were shorting oil? Now, uh, which uh, which index or which stock you have been shorting? 
can you give us some information i will say i will check the chart and i will give you some information uh jason lee thank you very much okay uh you are going to contact me thank you very much so uh big boys getting it can you give me some information about what you did and which uh, uh which which uh, oil you have is it an etf is it an etf or is it a stock or with or what is it big boys if you are still here uh dear on the mc should i buy facebook now oh, okay see for me when i buy something we buy on the signal we don't just buy like this because it is facebook or twitter or any other stock so if you want to um to get this right you can choose my golden subscription you find 10 training and i will add how to buy from support line and then you see yourself if facebook is good you can buy it if not because facebook now is having trouble with the government okay because of this uh, data that he gave to i don't know who so <laughs> the the company is in trouble so I, I am not i am not sure that if you can buy facebook now okay but uh, instead uh, for us we are we, we are following uh, price we don't care about what the people say or what the government and uh, uh so the facebook has lost a lot let's see the chart of facebook just to give you an idea okay so as you can see facebook was 195.32 now it is 162 uh, you know a lot of uh, trouble and understand that facebook is so big stock and it and it has a lot of news and it's like twitter and the other stocks so uh, it doesn't mean that it's going up like this you buy or it's going down you buy so you should see uh, my training in order to get the right answer okay so uh uh, I am not uh, here in my training I am not giving you recommendations what to buy you should understand what you are doing by yourself so you can be relying on yourself in the future you will be independent because the stock market we have thousands of stocks there is not only Twitter or Facebook or Google or Apple there are thousands of stocks that are way 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 better than than these kind of stocks so it depends on uh, the momentum when you buy these stocks and if they are good or not uh Darren, uh, thank you uh welcome man i'm trying just to explain as much as i can because if you go to other uh websites or you go to other uh, uh, channels and you ask a question oh buy facebook yes buy it you, you can do that you should learn you should learn why you buy facebook we we use signals which means we use the price we have signals we have to see the chart and then you can buy okay when you buy you just wait if the stock is going up you will be making money from the second day you buy today tomorrow you begin making money so and then just you wait for more days weeks or months until you get enough uh, profits and then you exit so uh, another question from Diego Levisky. he said do you think your criteria works better in an uptrend market or works the same in the strange around market that we are now okay understand that my strategies there are many depending on the stock depending on the market now stocks that go up every day yes there are always the stocks especially smaller stocks they go every day but sometimes you see the whole market is going down there is another strategy that you should do like shorting indexes 
uh, or shorting the whole market okay sometimes the stocks go down and then they go up there is another training which is training level 13 how to buy a stock from support line this it shows you where to buy it shows you uh, where to put stop loss and it shows you if the stock after a few days it is good or not so all these are training you find them if you want just uh, to save a lot of money you can go and do the golden subscription it's very it, it, because you save a lot of money you can buy the training training one uh, like a two or three or four or five and you can go and you can keep them as videos it's 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 good or you can do the golden subscription and you will see everything and you begin just learn and practice learn and practice okay so in uh, let's say Dow Jones uh, we're going down in a, in a correction you can't go long where, where everything is going down so you understand it means uh, like before when we have the the energy sector when it was going down for one year or two all the stocks are going down it means if you are going to find a stock that goes up you can find one or two or three but it is uh, it is just a few but in a good market when there is a bull as i showed you right now in uh, uh, you will find a lot of stocks going up and hope you don't you don't go and buy the losers okay this is <laughs> sometimes sometimes everything is good and someone goes to a loser and he buys a loser it, it happens in the market okay but there are signs you will see that the stock is going down uh, i have showed you i think last week all the uh, all the dow jones stocks most of them are going up but there is one which which uh, uh, which lost 50 percent of its money from last year to this year although the other stocks they they have not lost that much they make money not to lo not lost money okay so you see uh, you, you see in the market there are moods in the market but if you if you want to be to make sure uh, you are not going with the whole market go to smaller stocks stocks that are fifteen dollars ten dollars seven dollars two dollars one dollars uh, twenty dollars all these are small stocks sometimes they are not following the whole market i have explained in uh, many videos this week please check my videos and you will find you will find a lot of uh, uh, a lot of videos explaining this situation okay And always, uh, Diego Levisky, what is your percentage of winners traders carry? Okay, Diego Levisky, this question is most of the people who ask this question, uh, it's not the right question winners and losers is not a correct way uh, to sh to show if you have made money or lost money this idea i have explained in training level five how to make money from the stocks it means the probabilities now for me i will show you right now an idea that your idea could be false the question is false itself okay so I'm going to to give you just an idea how thing how things work and this I have explained in training level five now uh, someone has told me before there is website you give him your trades and he gives you how many winners let's say you have 65 winners and 35 losers if i ask you the question is this guy making money you are you think that this guy is making money and because he has 65 winners now i tell you that this idea of winners versus losers is false because 
I give you one thing. Let's say you do a trade and you make ten dollars. You count this as a winner, one. Now two here. You make a loss of five hundred sixty dollars. Okay, and you make it as one here, as one, as a loser. Now, if I ask you the question, do you think that ten dollars? Is the same as a loss of six hundred and uh, five hundred sixty dollars? Is it? Is it? Uh, is it one here? The same as? Is it one here? The same as one here? No. So this is why your question is false. Now, in order to understand how this probability works, you should go to training level five. I will explain this because it is. It is a kind of probabilities that I use. Probabilities. Either you can use, you can use uh, uh, training level five, how to make money in the stock market. I will give you the formula that it makes you the money. It's not the winners and losers that makes you the money. It's another thing. So I will explain it in probabilities in training level five. You can take the golden subscription and you get 10 training and one of them is five and you can understand you go to it directly and you understand or you can buy training level five directly okay and this is how it works okay so um uh, diego you should just uh, there are things that you think because all the people in the market they speak about them you think they are right but in general they are false because this is the general idea that the people have in the market okay but in real trading what makes the money is not you have more winners than more losers and this is why if you go to some websites or some traders they will show you that they have more winners than losers you can do that you can you can just go to any stock you buy it after a few minutes two minutes three minutes you make money ten dollars or five dollars or seven dollars and you close the the thing you will be making a winner and if you continue like this you will be a loser because these winners are are very very small okay Uh, one one decaso said how interest rate has effect on the market now uh, interest rate this is a very a very complex thing on the stock market so um, people interest rate i will show you uh the thing about interest rate let's go here now look at this here let's say we have what you call stocks we have here bonds now let's say when the stocks are going down okay you will find that the bonds are going up so because the bonds are are uh, uh, the, the profit that you make is with interest rate for those uh, people who don't know what is uh, what is bonds bond is uh, is when you give a loan you give a loan uh, to the state or to the government or to whatever and they give you interest rate let's say seven percent each year each year for let's say for five years it means you should not you should not uh, sell because each year they give you seven percent of your money now some people 
when they see the stock market is going down they lose a lot of money they sell their shares here and they buy bonds because they know that bonds give them 7% so why they should stay with the stock market is going down but this is this is the original one now what if things has changed and the stock market the stock market now it is going it is going up okay like a, uh, like a 2016 as I showed you and 2017 the market was going all up so when it is going up you can make more than seven percent or six percent so what the people they do they sell here they sell their bonds they take whatever percentage and they buy here and they can make a lot of money and in history in history stock market has done better than gold than gold and bonds in history it means if you see uh, 100 years uh, you can find for example that the performance let's say the performance of stocks is like this this is stocks and the, let's say this is gold and let's say this is uh, interest rate so interest rate and gold they they have maybe near nearby performance but stocks is so good it means if you put let's say ten thousand dollars here let's say in 10 years in 10 years or 15 years or 20 years you will find that your stocks will do better than gold and bonds this is why all the people they like stocks but in some years that are bad they you they prefer gold or they prefer bonds this is how how things work okay so this is the uh, what we call the interest rate okay not to be mistaken that's why uh, most of the people who use um, interest rate are the people who are very very old they want they don't want to see a year like 2008 okay 2008 where uh, the whole market has lost around 50% or 40% or 50%. Now, if you, the whole life, you have made, let's say, let's say you have made $500,000 the whole life. You begin working at 20 and now you are 60. So 40 years working, putting in your 401k or any other investment. What if at 60, you want to begin to take money and then comes a year like 2008 when all the stocks lost 50 percent what you should do okay so some people they don't like the stock market when they become old they become nervous they become they become like uh, uh, very uh, scared of the market when when the market is not doing so good okay so let's go uh, Gus D, thank you very much for coming. Gus D, this is the first time I, I see your name. Thank you very much for coming. One of my stocks sold shares as a bot deal. Is that a good or bad thing? How is that different? Now, understand, uh, Gus, there are some transactions that it is just a transfer of title. It has no uh, it has no uh, effect on the on the stock of the okay it has no effect and um, uh, what you say about deal what do you mean do you mean uh, a company bought another company or or uh, or uh, a company sold uh, 10% or 20% or 30% of the company to another to another company it, it, I, I, I don't think that it will have 
it will have an influence but it is you you should see the, your stock because you are investing for the long run you should go to the filing or you should go to the what you call the major holders okay so for example and see who is holding more of the stock of this company you can see the filing it means when the company uh, like let's say an executive has sold 1 million shares you will find it there in the filing that this guy has sold 1 million shares and you should say why why this executive is selling is the company doing bad or he wants the, the money for himself or whatever so try to understand since you are an investor you should dig and see what's going on to your company that you are investing in but try to see the stock price this will tell you something okay uh you say you said referring to public offering now do you mean it is uh, an ipo before uh, before it was a uh, a public or after it was public uh, so I uh, do you mean uh, it is IPO like uh, initial public offering is it before or after oh it is for raising cash no raising cash sometimes the company creates shares they have no value and they sell them for value most of the time uh, the stock goes down but you try to see your stock is it going down yes or no so what is this stock that you are talking about and i can check here what's going on into your chart if you want to uh rahmatullah modi you say can you see my question because I sent it three times okay uh, Rahmatullah I don't see your question there is no your question here okay Rahmatullah I see oh okay okay let's uh, let's continue with um hip dot v i have no idea i have no idea what's this uh, stock let's see Okay. Um, Gus, when did you buy this stock? This company, when did you buy it? no yes 125 it means uh it means when the date do you do you remember the date because i see uh one month ago let's see okay see your stock this stock first when it began it has no it begins with uh, six cents seven five four eight. there is no trading at all it means it's always zero zero and then we have a gap up it becomes 40 42 cents and then we have this now what you see here if you say one month one month it could be oh okay 
Now you see this. This is what we call a pump and dump scheme. The people who make, why you buy it here? These people who make this, it is what we call a pump and dump scheme. It means they push it up and they crush it. They push it up and they crush it until. So if you bought it, as you as you told me, uh, one twenty five now is one six. Okay, so you have lost right now around maybe twenty percent or eighty percent. So you should you should uh, see. What you are going to do is the company you know, it means you know this company, or it is just uh, something that you bought and you and you want to invest in it. Because what I, what I see here is a pump and dump scheme, it means manipulation of the stock. So here I don't know where the stock will go. So it depends on you if you know uh, is it a good company or not but this company is very very small so I have no idea so Rahmatullah asked the question so uh, let's uh, let's go let's go up again because uh, Diego has asked the question before Karim do you know what happened with the stock DYN it's no moving since 64 DYN let's see It is zero. Uh, it might be. Let's uh, see here. Um, Diego, this company might be bought by another company, or it is get enlisted from the stock market. It becomes private again, because you know. A company is private when you you can't buy shares of it because it's not public you don't find it in the in the stock market and then it goes public it means anyone can buy shares of this stock but sometimes this company is bought by another company so the stock stops and the people they give them money uh, of their shares that's it so did you uh, did you buy this company and uh, and uh, uh, you don't find it or you just uh, you are just looking after it? Okay, so try to answer this question. Uh, did you buy this stock? Yes or no? And uh, I, you should just go and check the news. What did happen? Okay, because I, I have no idea. Uh, Rahmatullah, you asked the question. I used to find a lot of drug stocks, but now I find only few. So Rahmatullah, you are, uh, you are using my strategy, right? Please send me an email and I, will, I can explain to you uh, things. Rahmatullah. I think you have uh, you have my uh, my criteria and my thing so tell me which day and we will speak about this oh uh, Gus you say cannabis sector in Canada it is legalized this summer oh that's good <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, uh, if you have uh, if you have bought it before uh, before these days before when uh, when it goes the 
the pump and them scheme you will be having a lot of money but uh, I don't know about the future so uh, be careful be careful of this kind of stocks because uh, it is legalizing this summer it means next summer it means 2018 it might be going up after the news I have no idea but to try to make sure and uh, like this uh, stocks uh, it thinks uh, it's like a bubble it's like a pump and dump scheme because of the news the stock can go so much in one day or few days and then it go down it means there is manipulation so be careful if you want to uh, uh, to invest in it and you are sure that this company can make money it's okay but understand that always there is a risk of losing money so this is what I am telling you so that's why for me I, I don't buy uh, I don't buy by the news okay we, we, I don't buy by the news I buy by the price if it's going up and these kind of stocks are very very small now this company uh, you should you should just check uh, hip V let's see let's uh, see again yes it's one dollar let's see the news no news found in the for this uh, this stock has gone to three dollars thirty yes it, it might have um, it might have another uh, another pump and dump scheme in the future but it's not sure okay so it's not sure so make sure that um, make sure that you are doing an investment and maybe you can lose a lot of money or you lose almost all your money okay so it's 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 a lot of so you should you should be sure if this company is making money in the future or it has opportunities to make a few uh, a lot of money and try to compare it with other cannabis uh, uh, sector in Canada try to compare other companies maybe there are other companies that are bigger and there are better than this kind of of uh, stock okay one decasa said gold and silver price is up to so we should watch the index okay let's uh, eh, let's see the gold and silver index okay so gld is the etf for gold where it is going up i don't see any going up yes it's going up and down up and down up and down up and down but there is no signal that gold is going anywhere let's see silver silver is going down you see it's 1568 so where do you see that the that this uh, silver and gold are going up how do you know that how do you know that they are going up in the chart in the chart it doesn't say nothing so for me i i see i see the price if the price doesn't moving it doesn't move as i i uh, i like it there is nothing stop uh, stop uh, looking at the news because the news they give false information always okay they gi they just give and i have showed you the uh the etf not the index but the etf but uh, they do uh, they do nothing as i can see so um like uh, Goss, what he wants to do with this cannabis sector, and uh, this is our speculations. People, uh, they have ideas that if uh, the cannabis is legalized in USA or in Canada, because in USA, some 
some uh, states they have already legalized cannabis and they are sold and the people they get drugs from everywhere but some other states they are forbidden okay so here in america we have some states are uh, are with some uh, some states are against so this is about uh, but uh, in canada i i have no idea i have no idea if it is like everything is uh, everything is legalized for all the companies it means legalized everything or it is just uh, it is just uh, a state or a part of canada and it is good for those who who take drugs uh, it will be easier for him uh, for them to continue taking drugs and forget about this word they don't want to think about this they want to live in another world that doesn't exist it exists in their heads only so everybody has his own word okay uh, so uh, as i told you everybody who, who doesn't know um so in my golden uh, subscription those who don't know so i will just give you um, small information okay so please watch this thing now uh, this golden subscription here i have added there are, now there are 10 uh, first training okay there are 10 first training from level 1 to level uh, 10 and I have added three more next week for this if you want to um, if you want to save a lot of money from my training it's better to do the Jalala golden subscription at $55 a month because you will have 10 training levels for free and then we'll add uh, I will add um, I will add three in the future which is uh, uh, how to sell short a stock and how to day trade using charts and the candlesticks and how to buy a stock from support line now if you want just to to understand how to search you can use my silver subscription $25 a month which is just for training it will let you know how to search for stocks uh, there are four training for one two three four and i will add how to buy from the support line i will add it next week so there is an addition of a free training that i will add now if you if you want just to go to training by videos it means you want to tra to take training by training you can go here training by videos you click that you will find all the training that i have right now which are 20 and level one is free and uh, start your training now with 70 discount i will delete this discount in in uh, in the right time so if you are interested you can just check or you can buy whatever you want okay and then we have training by ebooks so ebooks it means if you if you only want the pdf file it means you you don't want you download them if you want to download for example 10 pdf file it's 80 percent you are paying only uh 200 for all the 10 uh training levels okay so um that's uh, it for uh, for uh, for the thing that is going on into my um into my uh, training is concerned so oh uh, so jason lee you ask the question oh you bought your now this is uh, uh you, you bought you bought my uh, ebook five years ago oh it's a very 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 long time ago yes yes but uh, but uh, see 
if you bought my ebook like five years ago why you are uh, uh, you you are not using my my criteria to search or to you are doing something else okay you can send me an email and we can discuss Gus uh, since you are from Canada send me an email and we can discuss I can help you with uh, whatever new things I have okay now let's see some questions before I go elsewhere uh, Gus uh, you said it's going to destroy our society that's for sure okay Gus you are against cannabis and you are supporting them <laughs> okay see two thumbs up so how can how can you support them you buy their shares and you help them make their business good and you you are against them normally you don't buy them as a punishment you don't buy this kind of stuff because if you don't buy and the other people don't buy the stocks will go down they will never go up okay so it depends on your on your idea about this thing okay no problem Trump has said how to know there is a short squeeze how can buy it to make to make money so there is no sure thing about uh, about uh, short squeeze when the people are shorting wait until they stop shorting and they are buying again this is what I, uh, I, will, uh, I, will, uh, I will tell you. For example, day trading. Try to see at the end of the day you can find opportunities. Okay? So this is what I want to tell you. I, I can't give you more information. Now, Goss said, What is your favorite stock going into reporting season? I hear lots of companies are making more money this quarter because of tax breaks. Trump? I like semiconductor AMD or Nvidia. Yes. Uh, see, uh, Trump has done something so good to all the companies of America, and I think he gave twenty percent non-taxable uh, profits. This twenty percent of the company earnings, it will go to push the companies ahead and I think it will make the stock market go up but but until we see that right now the prices doesn't show this news we should see this news okay if um, uh, uh, when you say uh, uh, semiconductors like AMD or uh, Nvidia it, it, it's not it's not that one all the companies they get 20% now if you like uh, semiconductors okay so you should uh, you should be looking at the stocks of this uh, semiconductors and Gus uh, you can you can check the uh, you can check the chart I think you have my chart and you are using it you you can see uh, you can see but uh, Gus as I told you try to follow the price if these things begin to show up that the stock market will be going up it will show maybe the end of April or May or June it will if if the people correspond or respond to this thing but if the people they don't res respond they don't buy and uh, I don't know so it will be so it will be something in the future and we can't for me I can't affirm something without seeing it I don't predict things so you you are following the news which is very good you are following the news in the future maybe you find opportunity to buy something that you heard like cannabis or or semiconductors uh, but you, when you buy and you just wait until this happen it could be it could be uh, a big waste of time 
because you will never know okay uh, you said uh, Jason Lee you said golden subscription include include the subscription yes yes it means golden subscription is is way way better than than silver silver you have only four training or five the the, the number five is 13 is only is only interested in how to search techniques how to search what are the problems how can you solve them how can you find good good companies these are the basic thing of silver if you you are interested just to search stocks do silver but if you are interested in everything to know everything about searching about stop loss about following the thing you should go and do golden is better and you save a lot of money because it is only 55 dollars a month if you want to buy other all the other training it will be more expensive okay so uh let's see the questions because i am uh, i am lost in the questions uh gopi gopina he said hi i am from gopina from india can i show your golden subscription uh see gopi gopi golden subscription is not free okay it's 50 55 dollars a month if you are interested to see all the training like a 10 training and i'm adding three training how to search for stocks how to follow uh, you should go and do golden subscription if you want just to search for stocks you do silver subscription or you can uh, you can just if you if you don't have money you can go to uh, ebooks i have ebooks you can go there and you buy ebooks because there are uh, 20 percent um, 20 uh, 80 discount right now uh, trump said how to know that 22 week low has reached the support of the bottom line this is a part of training so i will not answer this question because uh things that i use i would not uh, show i would not show my training just in general like this so uh you should uh, you should a uh, trump if you are a student if you uh, let's say you are a golden subscription a subscriber or so then you can ask any questions i make videos for you and i will upload them and everybody will watch them so you, when you ask specific questions about the training uh, you should uh, you should get specific answers for any question but if you are subscriber if you are not what did you say about facebook and tesla i said nothing i said nothing the only thing i said is when you want to buy you should know the criteria to buy there are a lot of criteria about the chart about the signals if you don't know this criteria whatever you buy whatever you want to buy so um jalaba <laughs> first uh, jalaba is is not my name my name is kareem jalala is my business name okay uh you you should go to a dating website and they will teach you this i'm not <laughs> I'm not teaching you a uh, girl's thing, okay? So, um, Gus said, you think we will have a red Monday because of the serious situation over the weekend? Doesn't seem like it. it's that big ordeal that surprises me. Now, Gus, hear what I should tell you. Always, always, always put stop loss to all your stocks whatever happened in the, in the stock market let's say it's a bad monday at least at least you will exit all your uh, stocks and you will wait if you are an investor you know investors they don't care about about news so you should stay because it's investing for many years if you are a trader if you are a day trader it's an opportunity if you are a day trader in the morning you wake up you see where is the dow uh, how how it lost in the morning before the market opens you should see all the markets and you have an opinion 
If it is a good day to, to short stocks, yes, it's a good day to make money, not to lose money. But if you are in the stocks like us, like me, like other people, you are in the stocks, I always put stop loss. I don't care what will happen in the market. If it is a bad day, I will exit and I will look and I will wait until the market has gone the news and then I can buy again. Uh, you say Della? No, no, my name is not Della. My name is Karim. You you keep uh, saying words that I don't know. My name is Karim, as a nickname. Are you pro gold or pro silver? What do you mean pro gold or pro silver? I am not pro for anything. So what do you mean by pro gold or pro silver? It means you buy silver and gold. I just uh, showed the, the other guy that gold and silver are not doing good so why should i buy them so i am not i'm not a pro of gold and silver gus said stop loss doesn't work after hours no 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 i mean i mean before the market opens you can check the prices or in the beginning of the day you can check the prices if there is a gap down, I don't think that there is a gap down. I think if the news comes, it should be going down from the morning to the uh, to the afternoon. If, if, if the news are bad, but you don't know, no one knows. Don't don't have the pre the prediction that the market will be going down on Monday, okay? Even if it is bad news, no one knows until you see the information and then you can have an idea okay and i understand stop loss doesn't work uh, doesn't work after hours because after hours the bid and the ask uh, is very wide so you can't use it after hours thank you gus you say one more will we ever see a drawing tutorial from you Ah, drawing tutorial? <laughs> I, I don't draw anymore. I just uh, uh, used to, to make diagrams, as you can see, and an explanation. This is what I do for now. I am not drawing anymore. Ah, yes, you are old school. That's, that's very good, very good to, to draw. Uh, Trump said, could you give me an example? for bad news that will bring the stock market down yes the pre-exit news in 2016 i have made i have made uh, videos if you if you put pre-exit news in my channel you will find two or three videos what did happen in that day monday i i'm i'm i'm, uh, I'm trying to see uh if i can find this if I can find this, let me let me see. Um, if I can find this in the Dow Jones, yes, it is those these two here. Let's say take this one here. Do you see these two here? These two red candlestick. One is Friday. Friday, 24 June 2016. Please, if you go to uh, if you go to uh, my website, if you put pre exit news on uh, on the YouTube, you will find these videos. And Monday, 27 June 2016, it's going down. But on Tuesday, I say it is a buy. When I say it is a buy. All the market has been going up, going up for for a long, long, long time ago. So this is the example I can give you. You can check that. And it is new. Okay. Uh, me, myself, Andy said, did you say stop loss cannot be used after hours? What is the best time of the day to execute a trade 
Now, me, myself, Andy, we we buy at the end of the day before the market opens. Okay? There are signals that we should see. So the best day to uh, for us to buy is at the end of the day, we buy and we put stop loss. Okay? So the best time to buy a stock for us as a swing traders, it is at the end of the day. Why? Because we should see a strong signal to buy. Now, if you want to understand, either you can go do golden subscription or you can go and uh, order training level two and level four. How to search for stocks using stock screener. It will show you how to find these stocks, what are the criteria and why you buy them. Uh, Trump, you said, I watched the video about the penny stock that you have in YouTube. How come all the all they look is like the end of the trend. Now, what do you mean by all day look is like at the end of the trend? In the penny stock, I, I spoke about two kinds of stocks. Pamp and dump scheme stocks and um, the normal common stocks. So what's what's the thing that you are asking? I don't, I don't understand. Can you formulate the question again? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, Trump, can you formulate the question? Thank you very much, uh, Gus. Thank you. You are an old and old student, Gus. <laughs> Trump said, "Let's uh, let's say you are buying the IPO." What is the fail to break out two times? See, Trump, try to give me a stock and then we can speak about it. Because I don't understand what do you mean by break out two times. I don't understand what you mean. What is this has a relation with, uh, with the stock? It can, it can have a break out for 10 times, 20 times. So I don't understand if you give me a stock uh, D B X. Let's see. D B X. Yes, it is just a new. It's just a new, uh, a new company, and I have made a video about it. And someone the, the other time he asked me. What do you think about uh, uh, Dropbox? I say it's very hard to tell because no one knows where it goes. Here, this is a, like a gap down. Here, it's like a gap up. So this stock is very, very volatile. So you mean that this is a breakout? And this is the second breakout? And what you want to, to do? You want to... Uh, to buy at the th third uh, breakout or four or six or seven or eight and how do you know if this continue why not it continue to go down so this is very uh, i don't buy the stocks at the, at the beginning because i don't have enough information so uh, you you are following this breakout when we have when the stock has has history six months or one year or two years it should have some history in order to begin a trade very well with with technical analysis but you can do whatever you want if you want to buy it you buy it but understand that no one knows where this stock is going Gus said my experience when a stock continues to going up through the day and ends a hot next day it's almost always takes a hit from profit takers uh, you know it's, it's, it's generally anything can happen to a stock and we are not uh, for me I don't predict anything if things happen it could happen Gus I said I would watch out for drop watch then competing with Google 
So you said that uh, that this Dropwatch Dropbox is is competing with Google? I don't think I don't think so. I don't know even what is this Dropbox is doing. <laughs> Something should be big in order to uh, in order to uh, compete Google. Google is one of the biggest stocks in the United States. It's not s something small that that someone else could uh, could compete with it, if, except when it is very big. Uh, Empty Sky, thank you for coming. Uh, Empty Sky, I haven't seen you for a long time. Are you difference in future and option stock or without future and option stock? Here, not all with future contract and option chain. Empty sky, I don't understand what you are saying. I don't understand. Empty sky, could you formulate your question? Because I don't understand what uh, future contract is the same as an option contract is the same but futures they move so fast than the options and you should be a professional day trader or swing trader to do options and you should have a lot of money so it's not a game uh, for beginners or something or some people who just begin and you can lose a lot of money so try to be careful So uh, you said uh, Snap is like uh, Dropbox. I, they are just small, small companies yet. They are not very big. They are file sharing company. I like Snap actually. So me and myself, Andy, do you cover in your course the best way for a stock trader to set up the trading business such as using LLC S Corp or sole proprietor? No. See, um, excuse me. In order to do, uh, in order to do a business, wh what is? I, I will show you something that you can rely on, and then you can go to your tax preparer, and he will explain to you. Okay. I will give you some information. Me. Myself and Andy, I will give you some information. So, the only thing you use, uh, you make a business name and you trade under it, is that in terms of tax. See, I will just uh, explain this before we go to something else. Uh, this is what I know. Now, uh, there are three things, guys, I can explain for you guys to understand this. Now, the first is individual account. Okay, individual account. These are most of the people, they do it. You just apply for account and you do it. There is a Roth IRA account where you can put each year uh, $5,500 if you are under 50. This uh, for guys who are young, you can make uh, a big account in many years and then you can trade. And there is trader. Trader is very difficult to do. And there is here business okay now an individual account okay let's say you put uh, ten thousand dollars whatever you make as a profit as a profit this profit is 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 considered as an income and this income goes to your to plus to your in regular income like your job like your job so whatever you make from individual account like uh, like trading you trade and you, you you buy and you sell let's say you make 
uh, some money. This money will go to your income job to add it, and then you have the tax. Now, if you lose, you can claim only $3,000 a year. This is what you claim. It means if you lose, you don't make money, this $3,000 will be taken from your income. It means you are paying less tax than normal. Let's say your income is $40,000. If you lose $3,000 or more or less, whatever you lose, it should be less than $3,000. So your you will be taxed only on $37,000, not on uh, $40. Now, Roth IRA, no tax payment. This is the good thing. No tax payment. And no claims. You don't claim that you lose or you make money. No claims because this account doesn't go to IRS. You don't, it doesn't go because this is a retirement you it is intended to your retirement so it has nothing to do with IRS okay so if you are going to do Earth IRA you don't pay tax when you make money and if you lose money it's not you don't claim it here in, the, in your income so this is out of it has nothing to do with your tax thing now if you are a trader you should ask the IRS of this status of what we call traders and it is very difficult to get this because you should be doing day trading now what is the good thing if they accept in one year they accept to be a day trader what does it mean it means if you lose whatever you lose you can claim it let's say you have 50,000 K and you lost 20,000 K. You lost it that year. What you should do if you are a trader, this $20,000, let's say you have another job, 40,000. So since you have lost $20,000, it is minus this 40. So you are, uh, your income becomes $20,000 and you are taxed only $20,000. Okay? Now, if you are doing a business, it is better than to do a trader because you can do expenses into your business. For example, if you use margin, you can count that. If you use commission, you can add that. If you lose, you do like the day trader. So these are the four things and you, you should choose one of them. But this trader here is very difficult to get from IRS. You should prove to them that you are day trader. You are each day you are trading and you have a, a big account and you are trading for an income and it's like this. But the best thing is you can do a business because commissions or the margin or if you have, for example, education, for example, uh, you take my training. Just an example, okay? You are taking my golden subscription. This golden subscription, the money that you pay, it should be expenses. So whenever you make money, it should be taken from this money. Or you go to, uh, to have uh, a training outside or you, do, or you do like you travel. Everything that's related to trading should be taken as an expense. But before you do anything, you rely on anything you should contact your tax preparer and ask him what is good for you and if you can do it okay so hope hope i uh, me myself andy i have explained to you um thank you very much uh, me myself andy and uh, always always when you want to do something ask your tax preparer or ask um uh, there are some advisors that you should go for free when you want when you want to make a company llc or s corps or anything else 
you should go to them it's free before you do the uh, before you pay uh, other things and you make your company it's free you just go to them and you have 30 minutes uh, consultation and they will you tell them what you want to do and you tell them what what you know and they will show you what to do okay if you want to do that but uh, try to uh, to ex to listen to the explanation and then decide but for me for all those uh, each one you do has good good thing and bad thing okay so you should you should uh, the only thing uh, for people who are making money for people who are investing the Roth IRA is good if you are young and you begin to put money each year is 5,500 if you are more than 50 years you can put $6,500 each year now I understand 6,500 it's it's a little but for people who are working by 10 years 20 years you can make you can put a lot of money and you buy stocks and you invest for the long run and then after many years you can have a big account this is why uh, this is why uh, Roth IRA is good okay let's continue with the questions Trump said why most of IPOs failed I will tell you it's very simple a company that it is so small it can't compete although it goes to public and it has money to to push its business but they can't make it okay so for example are you going to compete with apple making uh, smartphones are you going to do that you should be the same strong company like for example samsung or some chinese companies who are very very strong in technology in innovation in order to be competing with apple okay if you are let's let's say a small company and you want to make your phone so could you could you compete that's why your company will be not making money and then you lose the money and then you sh you go bankrupt and you stop your business that's why almost all uh, ipos fail but there are some IPOs that uh, become go good. Uh, Google, for example, was an IPO and it is good because the model that it gives, it crushes all the other models. Yahoo before it was very, very powerful. But when Google comes, Yahoo becomes nothing. Okay? So it, it depends. Some succeed, others they don't succeed. It's just because of their model of the business. Gus said, uh, but Snap directly competing with FB Instagram. No, no, no. Gus, Facebook owns Instagram and Snap. So they don't compete. They work for Facebook. Okay? So understand that they belong to facebook they can sell them if they if they are not good they can sell but they don't compete with facebook okay so try to understand this they are they are making more money for facebook because they have millions of users and this is what facebook likes all the people they like more users more subscribers okay because the more uh, people the more business uh gus said anyone here willing to buy hm and y so gus please uh, i don't like uh, i don't like that you uh, that you put stocks uh, and you ask if the people are buying or not buying so i don't recommend stocks in my in my um, in my live or in my uh, training i don't recommend stocks you should understand the how things work and you can um, and you can buy them on time and if they go good you can make money okay so Karim you you sure you are not a doctor with that handwriting ah yes okay handwriting I write so bad that I am the only one who read my uh, you know my notes my books and 
when uh, we are like uh, in the university, you know, you know, most of the people they talk very, very quick, and I should just write so quick. So for me, I understand what I write. If I hand my uh, my handbook or my copies to someone else to see, he will never understand anything. So this is just for me. <laughs> That's why I continue with that. That's why some some they say to me, ah, we don't we don't understand what you are doing or what you are writing. I say okay. So I will try just to type and to put things in order. But uh, it's a, it's it's something that I have for a long time ago. <laughs> Empty uh, Sky said, in exchange, not all of the stocks future an option contract. Same stock without future and stock option. Are you different on this fact when selecting stocks? Oh man, you see, Empty Sky, you are confusing a lot of things. A stock has no futures. Okay, understand. Future has nothing to do with stocks. It has to do with indexes. So, stocks are companies. They have nothing to do with future. They are like Facebook. For example, when you buy Facebook, what is the relation of Facebook with future? There is nothing. No relation. But options, yes. Because in each stock, Almost all the stocks have options, calls and puts. For example, if you don't want to buy a stock like Facebook, you can buy a call option contract. Okay? But this has nothing to do with, uh, with, uh, with buying stock. I don't see the chain, no. You ask me, do you, do you see the chain? No, I don't see. Because uh, options is just, uh, is just um, uh, other thing relying on the stock but it has nothing to do with the stock it just relies on it's how it works if if the option goes up it means that the stock is going up if the stock goes down it means the option is going down the call is going down that's that's what you should know about options and futures futures is another thing futures rely it's something it's a contract before it was relying on something which is true, like buying cows, buying cattle, buying silver, buying gold. It, before it was something real, but now the future becomes something virtual. It has no value in terms of uh, cattle or cows or pork or anything else. But the people they use futures use assets like indexes. And this is how they trade. If the stock market goes up, uh, those futures will go up. And you can go up or down. You can you can go you can go long and you can go short. And there is no uh, this date pattern rule. If you have little money, ten thousand dollars, you can do uh, uh, you can do uh, options and you can do futures without stopping you. You can trade as much as you can. They can't stop you with the, like in stocks. In stocks, if you do more than three full trades a week, like in five days, if you do more than three, they will, they will stop you if you don't have $25,000 in your account. So option and futures has nothing to do with a stock. When I buy a stock, I don't see the futures or, or, or thing. Okay, so I hope you understand Empty sky, hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, me and myself, Andy, thank you very much, uh, me and myself, Andy. Op, uh, op, uh, snack is not owned by Facebook. Snapchat? I have no idea. So who owns, uh, who owns uh, Snapchat? Okay. I thought uh, that uh, Facebook has bought Snapchat. I don't know if it was sold.
Let's see here. I thought that uh, that it was So I will I will check that. So I don't I have no idea. I thought that it was it was bought by Facebook. Oh yes, yes, I know Facebook has bought Instagram also, I guess. Oh what's up? Oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, since I don't use uh I don't use WhatsApp, I don't use Snapchat, I don't use those things. So I, I yeah, 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 I, I think I am wrong. I think, I think uh, Facebook owns WhatsApp, not uh, Snapchat. But I thought, uh, I thought uh, Facebook has bought it. Oh, okay, so I will, um, I will I will try to uh, uh, to read again about it. Okay, because I have no idea. I have no idea about. Uh... Let's see here. So um, another, let's say another question, another question, Goss said, can you explain warrants, what do you think of them versus the primary stock, how would it benefit you? Now I think that um, warrants are made by the company itself. It's like a, it's like an options, but really I don't know how to trade them or how to because for me anything that has interest rate I don't I don't trade it, okay I don't trade those uh, stuff. So if you are interested to um, uh, to buy warrants and to understand it, you should see your broker. You should call your broker if he has warrants. Or call or search online where uh, the warrants are uh, are sold, okay? And check the company and call investors because in each website we have what we call investor sector. It's a section for investors. You find the phone number, you call them and you ask them about these warrants, or you check uh, videos on YouTube because I have no idea about them because I don't trade them. So I have no idea. I don't deal with these things like uh, warrants and bonds. I don't do them. I don't wait for uh, to wait one year to get seven percent or six or five. Okay, I can make better, so I don't use them. Okay, so try uh, Gus. Try to see that, and maybe Canadian um, warrants maybe are different from USA warrants. So I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, you said that uh, Facebook want to buy Snapchat, but they say no. Let's see. I, I didn't uh, see Snap Snapchat for a long time. Oh, man, it's doing so bad. Snapchat has done like the same as Twitter and it is so bad. It is so bad. Okay, the stock, I, I, as I see here, it was 
it was $21 now it is 14 so it lost it lost it lost a lot of money so I don't know if it goes up again or no the owner of snap was offered 1 billion for snap he said no yes I understand that these IPOs, new companies that are technological, uh, because the people, they use it a lot, millions and millions of users. So uh, all the big companies like Google, like Facebook, like they like these companies because they, they, uh, they use the users in order to advertise. So those people, for example, Snapchat, the owners, they know the potential of these companies. One billion, you give it to him, but maybe after five years, he can make 500 million or, or, two, or 20 billion or 100 billion dollars. So these companies can flourish, can become so big when they make money. Yes, it's like, a, it's like a Microsoft, okay, Bill Gates. When he gave Google one million dollar for Google, do you understand? If Google has sold Google for one million dollar, you see that. So it's that's that's the thing. Uh, Trump said, "Oh, okay." Gus said the owner of Snap was offered one billion for Snap. He said no. Yes, you know he he is the owner of the company and he knows the potential of snapchat yes right now the stock is not doing good yes you can see it but i don't understand maybe the future it can be uh, doing better it's like twitter twitter also it is so big so strong but they don't make as much money this is their problem but when they begin to make money maybe things change for them okay uh trump said when you type in what's up does Facebook collect that information and sell them in the market? No. Facebook collects information and gives to the advertisers. Okay? This is how they make money. It's like Google. It's like Facebook. It's like a, all the business ad is the same. Okay? But I don't know why they, they go to... Uh, Facebook and they leave Google and the other websites because all the websites have this have a model where they sell the information but in terms of ads okay it means it doesn't uh, for example you uh, you uh, let's say Trump you you like chocolate they know that you like chocolate so you find adver uh, ads that shows chocolate to you each time when you go online so when you see the chocolate and you like chocolate, you click on it and you begin buying chocolate. You see that? <laughs> that's, that's the deal. That's how Facebook makes its money. Yes, uh, snapshot is at the low, yes. Ah, uh, it, it's for the young. It's a, I, I understand that Snapchat and uh, WhatsApp, and I don't know, maybe all, and uh, like Instagram, I think uh, all for the young guys, 15, 17, 14, 19, it's all for these guys. And we, we are old, so we don't use, <laughs> we don't use what they use, okay? Oh, okay, okay. So Ops, uh, OPG said, Facebook is losing younger users. That's why the, they wanted to buy it. Yes, you are right. You are right. And that's why they, do, they understand that these users is what they make them money. That's why they, um, uh, they buy all these small companies. And for me, I said always, big fish eat small fish. That's, that's, that's the stock market. It's always happening like this. And you know, companies, they buy other companies. This is uh, something normal. And they become bigger and bigger and bigger. Sometimes they, uh, they buy competitor. A big company making a lot of money and there is a small competitor. If they see that this competitor becomes bigger and bigger, they offer him money to sell the company. 
Okay? Now, if he sells the, monk, the company, this big company, they have no competitor, big competitor. That's why they take all the money of the market. Like, uh, for example, Apple and Samsung, uh, they share the whole market. And the smaller companies, they share just little. They don't sell that much compared to uh, Apple and uh, uh, Apple and Samsung from South Korea. Korea. So you understand that everything is related to money and and the those big companies they know how how much is worth a company because all the market especially those techno technology companies they like users the more users the more they can make a lot of money uh, Gus said have a good night thanks for taking the time to answer our questions peace thank you very much so right now it is uh, three three hours 11 minutes so we are ending this session uh, please uh, come back next uh, uh, saturday if god wills at 9 p.m if you have more questions just ask me by sending uh, an email and you'll find the email in your uh, description and uh, thank you very much i understand that tomorrow you may be um, having a day off and sleeping so thank you very much and see you uh, next uh, week.